provoked a local vet to gather the hungry masses around him, to revolt and distribute cheese and declare death to the Queen. Find out on this episode of Revolutionary Spain. Rafael Pérez de Alamo, author of the best-selling Revolutions in Andalusia, was born here in Loja in the year 1829. As a vet's assistant, he led a fairly uneventful public life. But in private, he was leader to one of the biggest secret societies in Andalusia. Politics were prohibited for everyone but the privileged, and that meant mild-mannered vets such as Rafa had to conduct his meeting in a clandestine fashion. One June day in 1861, he was alerted of a battle in a village close to Ithnacha in Cordoba, between the Guardia and the starving members of his society, who had neither bread nor cheese to their name. Off he galloped at top speed, gathering others en route until eventually they became an unstoppable revolutionary force. They swept through town after town until they finally reached the home of the Prime Minister himself, Loja. Rafael's army held the town bravely for four days, during which a non-stop cheese feast was held until the state army turned up at the doors of the city and what? Revolutionaries fled and the town got its Prime Minister's house back but with a substantially diminished supply of bread and cheese. However, the seeds of discontent had been sown and if the authorities knew what was good for them they would have to begin to address the unbearably poor conditions of the agricultural workers of the South. As authorities are so prone to do, however, they failed miserably to do what was necessary. And regime after regime failed to address the most basic needs of the people. After the failure of Rafa's revolution, things didn't get an awful lot better. Where politics had failed, perhaps another force may succeed. Another revolution of sorts began during this time. A revolution that would grow into an uncontrollable beast by the following century, devouring people's spirits, traditions, and their way of life. For tourism had been invented. Join me, the Caspacho Monk, for episode seven, where we look at the first tourists of the 1800s in romantic Spain. Yo! Say cheese! Mr. Cheese Man! Say cheese!